This is Future Murphy here, and you're listening to Lockbox Files. to lockbox files oh yeah we're doing it again because the voth lockbox has released i'm admiral murphy and this is my uh what are we going to call ourselves the lockbox posse anybody got any ideas mm-hmm. lockbox roughnecks hoorah all right we'll go with that do you want to know more yeah i want to know your guys names go ahead read your names off we'll I'm go top gentle. to bottom I'm oh, okay. Chunter. I'll go first. I'm Chunter. You go first? All right. Away. Hi, Chunter. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm eating food. <laughs> Such Who else we got dork. Here? Mystic is here. Hi, I'm Thorley, and I'm sad today, unfortunately. Oh, why are you sad? Oh. Well, I uninstalled Windows, put OS X on, and now I can't play Stowe. Oh. oh. So I guess oh. you won't be opening lockboxes with people. Yeah, I'll be opening getting... them in spirit. All right. Oh. Well, well, we'll ask you what your imaginary lockbox gets you when uh, we'll let you open one of those up. <laughs> I wonder what he'll get. And, of course, we can't forget Hershey. Say hi, Hershey. Hello. And and uh, so this is our lockbox posse for the, the week, or what are, what are we against, Hutcher? Uh, lockbox roughnecks, that's it. Roughnecks? Okay. So this is the lockbox roughnecks of the uh, of the lockbox files, and this is a show all about lockboxes because uh, we all love lockboxes. Some Yay. of us more sarcastically than others. Love them, love them. Uh, so yeah, the Voth lockbox came out. Uh, first of all, I do want to say, uh, how many people here are a fan of the Voth? Anybody? I like the Voth. You who like the Voth? Who are the Voth? Not, not not, the not, special. Yeah, who are the Voth? Yeah, that's exactly. They're the dino the saucers. I love the dinos. dinosaurs. Oh my god, I hated the Voth so much, so that's going to totally sway my opinion on this box. But uh, let, let's before we give our opinions on the box overall, let's hit what's in this box. First of all, the big badass ship for this box, if you want to call it that, is the Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser. Now, I know Chunter, this is, he got one of these earlier in the week, or was it the other ship? No, it was this one, yes. On the first day it came out, I got it. But you're not flying it, you sold it. No, I sold it. How much did you get? It was the uh, the carrier one, because the other one's a lobby ship, isn't it? What did you How uh, much sell it EC for? did you get? Uh, oh, EC. I sold it for 99 million. Nice. Whilst it's a nice looking ship, I've, I'm fed up with carriers. Too many carriers. I just sold That's it. That's true. We it's just did get the, the Romulan one. We got the uh, the free one recently. Yeah. You know this? The Obelisk. There's, there's so mm-hmm. many carriers now. Enough for me. Yeah, I'll touch on these two new ships in a second here, but uh, uh, and we will cover the the ship math hopefully in the, the latter half of this show, so you'll get more details from that there. I'm interested in the science one, but I haven't got a science character ready to use it yet. Let's see. Yeah, here here's the science one. We've got the uh, Palisade science vessel. This is yep. the Lobby Store one, huh? Yeah, and it's awesome. So so why is it awesome? Tell me. Uh, buff layout, hull, uh, console layout, everything is great, especially for a science character. He Sounds learns. really awesome there, Hershey. Very <laughs> informative. You should is be the, the marketing guy for Cryptic right there. <laughs> Why should I buy a product? Um, it's awesome. Because it's, awesome. it's, it's on sale in, in the store, it's on got a shelf. Stuff. It's in a box. <laughs> and you can open yep, it. buy that. Oh man, Hershey, you should you Here should you go. apply. Here you totally would buy it. Mm-hmm. I'd buy it, dude. If you marketing stuff like that, I'd buy it. Yeah, it's informative <laughs> and short. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy it with candy. Um, 
yeah, so those are those are the two ships. I'll be honest, I really don't care for the look of these ships. I don't I don't I don't like the design of the Voth ships personally. I just kinda go eh. Well, I do have a problem with the uh the flight deck cruiser because those neon things should be lights yeah. and they look like they're just painted on they do. and that's what I think a lot of people have a problem with. The that's the, that's why I don't uh, like the it. look of it. What neon lights? The fake ones. On the ship. Like it's trying to be Vegas. Yeah. Hey, uh, I look, green I look, ones, that's the what's green turning ones? me off of the ship. The 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 quote lights or whatever they're supposed to be just look fake. It makes the ship look cartoony. Yeah. So I, I think that's the main reason why I just don't care for the Voth ships. Plus, I always thought it was dumb the Voth had these ginormous ships. It's like, where do they get the resources for this? They have so many. It's just, I, I never believed it. They've been collecting uh, resources for billions of years. I They've been guess. running around their own planet gobbling up those little pink balls. <laughs> They've been Pac-Manning their uh, yeah. resources. I need a ship. need to Pac-Man 2000. So, so Chunter, you you said you wanted the science ship. Did anybody else want any of these ships? Uh, I'll probably get the science one too. The I actually one? do want the uh, the lockbox uh, flight deck cruiser. I think it, uh, I like her. She liked the console layout and the uh, bridge officer layout and the <laughs> other stuff <laughs> that comes with it. What color is it, man? I don't know. Is it's it just green. <laughs> terrible yeah all right so then those are those are the two main ships we get in the box and then of course we've got a bunch of mirror ships um yeah, yeah. most of them are here guys i get think the 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 i think the general stow population is giving up on the mirror ships they're not interested yeah. especially yeah, when they're not new none of these are new they're just recycling them now, even because it looks like they don't want to put the um, Galaxy or Defiant or Intrepid. Those are the ones I want these. the most, honestly. I want the Mirror Intrepid, and they're they're not going to do it because it's a sea source ship. And I wish they would do something better with these Mirror ships instead of just making them have a, the same boff layout as. Uh, like Sovereign hat would have the boff layout of the Star Cruiser and the Star Cruiser of the Sovereign. Just make them their own unique thing. They don't have to be the other ship just because they're from the Mirror Universe. So an Assault Cruiser would really be a Star Cruiser. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think a lot of people in the community have hit ship burnout. Because I know within the fleet a lot of people are just gonna, kind of going, oh, new ship. Yay. Yeah, I think that's part of the reason why I'm not that interested in the car as well. There's so many ships lately. It's just like, ship, yeah. ship, ship isn't... Oh, another week, ship, ship, ship. Too I much. mean, yeah. That was the we problem with the uh, the new mission that I did not care for was a new ship, and I had to fly around in it instead of flying in the ship I liked. And it's just like, they yeah, keep that... giving more and more ships, and any time they give us new content, it's along with this new ship. So it's like, can you just make new content so I can fly the ships that I keep getting to enjoy them? No? Well I don't mind them coming out at the same time like they did with um, the sp Sphere of Influence and um, the Obelisk, but there are too many ships coming out by themselves without more content to play. Yeah, that's it's just kind of like, I'm a ship geek. I love ships. And Thorley, he's a ship geek, I assume, because you're oh, getting yeah, those model too. ships. So, <laughs> totally uh, but I'm getting ship burnout in this game. Yeah, speaking of that, I, I just got my NX and a uh, clam bird of prey in. A couple Dude, hours I want ago. the NX so bad. That's a nice couple there. Yeah. 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 The thing is, though, talking to ship burnout, we're, we're long-time players, but if you're a new player, then it's kind of okay, I suppose. Yeah. Do you know, what I, I think I if you're a new it. player to Stowe, uh, you're just going to be overwhelmed by the amount of different variations of the same ship. Ah, uh, yeah. I was just about to say that. I think there's just so many ships, people just kind of go, "What?" And I don't. I don't know if this box is... We'll, we'll, actually, we'll get to that. Let's hit what's left in this box, and I'll give that opinion. But uh, what else we got in this box? Anything else worth mentioning, guys? Dino Pet. Oh, the Dino, Dino Pet. Pet. Oh, that's the best thing in the box, the Dino Pet. Yeah. yeah. Too, oh, they should have... Even it's though cheap. it's not... Yeah, even though it's not a combat pet, uh, it still looks nice to walk around with. 
Holy I see. Then I see we got a whole bunch of new traits and stuff. Anything here that was worth uh, mentioning to you guys? Yeah, the engineer one is pretty awesome too. Yeah, it follows that orbital pizza. strike follows. I've the been target. seeing that. That looks sweet. Actually, that's the only thing I probably would want from this lockbox yeah. right now. And yeah, it's, it's a, also cheap. It's about million and a half, something like that. It's not too bad. Buy it. Yeah, How yeah. does that pack work? Do you get all of them in one or? No, no it when you on open your class. it, class. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you open it on attack, you get attack trait. In your, if you open it on uh, engineer, you get the engineer one. And, it. and now they made it to where you get both space and ground. But uh, there's only one. Uh, there's no, only no, one you for the have uh, you have space and ground, yes, but not in the same box. The ground mm, trait I'm... box and uh, space one. So. Uh, that's not what the blog said. No, I just they bought, wrote it. I just bought the ground and the space one for my character, so they are separated. It's not one box, and it gives you space and ground. It only gives you one gives you ground, and the second one gives you space. They are separate. Is separate. anybody uh, thinking of getting the anti-proton weaponry that the Voth also have? In the box? No. Uh, I don't I like the like it. for that. I actually do like the little diamond pattern. It's something different, I, so okay. I'd probably fly around with it. I, I don't while. care for them, but I don't hate them. I was tempted to, because I thought, oh, I'll get some accuracy times three beams and cannons, but then I saw them in space, and I don't like the look of them. It's like someone's throwing a bag of Skittles at me. Yeah. Skittles taste the rainbow. <laughs> it's our, our product placement for this episode. Yeah, then it looks like we got a, a Voth light soldier outfit. Actually, I've been seeing a lot of people using the uh, the arm pieces for this. Yeah, I've got mm. that on my main. I do actually like that uniform. It's a very nice uniform. Yeah. Shame I'm doesn't come with a helmet, playing. though. Yeah. I'm actually also planning to get it. I don't know yeah. if I'd wear it, per se, but I do like the design of it, especially on the Voth. It's actually kind of cool. It'll be handy when we get our Voth boff. Because you know it's going to be coming. Voth Nah. And it looks like the uh, we've got... buff from the luck box. Oh no! no There'll probably be no some featured episode eventually. Let's we'll see. We got time. the uh, the Voth anti-proton shock trooper cannon, and we get this. I no. don't know if anybody's got it. I haven't seen it in action, so I'm either assuming it's just not. I've seen the rifle, I believe. I've seen somebody using that, and I actually kind of think that looks cool. It might be the lobby price that's stopping people buying. It's quite expensive for such a small thing. Yeah, isn't it like 200 minimum? I'm not sure. Let me check in my inventory of my lobby. Oh, no, I can't. I've got no lobby on me. So so that's what we got made uh, in the lockbox mainly. I don't think I'm missing anything. Anything I'm missing, people? you got your standard doffs in it. There's a Voth yeah. uh, mm. doff pack as well. It's got one doff in, but they don't seem to be very popular. Nope. Nothing useful to get. So... Does this just me? Or does it seem like there's a lot less in this box compared to a lot of the... Yeah. Well, there's no space gear this time. Like, each one mm -hmm. we've had up to now has been a three-set space mm -hmm. for 600. Yeah. There's none of that this time. It's not what? hyped as the last one. It's a kind of... I, I don't even know if the last one was hyped. Because even I, I remember the last one I even felt was kind of eh. But there was no. still some hype. This one doesn't feel like there's any hype around it. Oh, the last one was... Pretty good. I bought both ships, almost every item from the. I don't think there's a console in this one. Yes, no, it's, it's, it's a universal one. Uh, is it where? Um, yes, you have a universal. Oh, console. in the in the ship, yes, or in the ship. No, in the ship, in a, a special console, yeah. a universal like. Like uh, last time, was it cir integration circuit, the mm. black hole? Now you have some. Oh, what is uh, this one then? How is it called? I can't remember. But it's a universe and nothing special about it. Alright. It's not hype as the integrated it's special one. charge launch. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right, um, the the fourth anti proton shock trooper can is fifty lobby and it's blue. It doesn't look very spectacular. Spectacular? Mm. Spectacular. Spectacular. It's it's yeah. worth yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the temporal lockbox was an example of one that I felt they put so much into it 
And this one, it feels like they, they kind of, I don't know if they rushed it, but it just feels like there's not a lot it, in it. It, it does have that feeling. Yeah, cause I remember the temporal one. Everyone's like, oh my God, the temporal one. Bye, 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 bye. Must that have, one you know, had a lot of hype. This one, it that just was good seems, stuff. I mean, how many pop-ups for ships have you seen today? I haven't seen, seen many, two. actually. I've been most of the day. I've seen, yeah, seen yeah. two or three. The temporal lot box I made about a couple million, maybe 10 million uh, EC by just selling the lot boxes on the exchange over over the first weekend. So my feeling yeah. is that part of the reason is the, the ship burnout, because the ships were always the thing, mainly with the lock boxes in the past. And I think people are just kind of burnt out at this point. But uh, it just feels like, yeah, a lot of less work was put into this one. And I one, I regard that as it's kind of a bad thing, I guess, because if you're not putting a lot of work in the lock box, a lot of people are just kind of going to go, eh, with it. But on the other hand, it's like, well, they're hopefully putting that work into something else I'll care for more. So, I, maybe I'm like, new expansion. Eh. Yeah, maybe I'm like, the, if it's uh, going into the new expansion rather than a lockbox, cool. I'm I'm for that. <laughs> Which, yeah, that would that would be a minimum of a year away. Mm -hmm. Well, I like uh, last year they released a season in I think November, and then an expansion in May. Yeah, but they so were I already they working on that expansion. So yeah. who who says they're not working? It, uh, that's true. We now? didn't know about. Them uh, they already expansion. said they're working on season nine. Oh, okay, that's okay. Season nine. nine expansion. Who cares? Anyway, I've got. Just I mean, to open some boxes. So boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to open some boxes? All yeah. right. We'll talk about the other topic later. But we'll open some boxes now. So let's hit some boxes. Holy crap! You got a lock box. Open it. Mystic, go first. I just. Scavenge dilithium from many characters to come up so I can buy 10 keys. Give me a moment. I have five. I can burn them now. Okay. One moment. Yeah, let's see. First box. Oh, yeah, for people not and, knowing what we're doing, we have boxes it, on the show. Let you know what yeah, we're doing. And what, what do you think it is? Duff the pack. Duff pack, yay. For a little I'm going to open all of mine and see what I got, and then tell you. Uh, what anti-proton weapon uh, special pack for a lobby? Uh, another one, another anti-proton weapon pack. You know, you can all open them all at once, right? Uh, Mirror Universe Wakabu Carrier. And the last box. Bonus pool, 2,000 CXP, and uh, 17 lobby. That's it. I got reinforcements, Doff Pack, Mirror Vokuv, Fleet Support Doff Pack, Voth Doff Pack, which is that one purple, yeah. Anti Protons, another Voku Carrier, yay! 25,000 Fleet Credit, 5,000 Fleet Credit, 2,000 CXP, another 2,000 CXP, and all the lobby that goes with that, which wasn't a great deal. Mm. And I'm glad I didn't use real money for that lot. Yeah. yeah. No, I, Anyone I just, want uh, uh, Mirror Roku? <laughs> just yeah. my two. Dibs. Put them in the fleet right. bank. Uh, I've already mm. uh, opened up all ten of mine. I ended up with 40 lobby, so I averaged uh, four per box there. So that's the lowest yeah. you could get? <laughs> yes, that's yeah. the lowest one. Meh, two specs. But I got um, Duty Officer Pack. Duties are Officer Pack, Voth, uh, Anti-Proton Weapon, 100 Fleet Mark bonus pool, so I can get some extra marks by doing stuff. Uh, another Voth Weapon, another Duty Officer Pack, Voth Weapon, 5,000 Fleet Credit. A uh, Dilithium Mine Preferred Customer is the last thing that I ended up getting. We'll open the weapons. I got a dual heavy cannon mark 11 crit each time to three. Mm, not bad. All right, the one I got, I got a dual heavy. That is basically just one of everything. It's accuracy, crit damage, and damage. Uh, second one is a, looks like a single cannon mark 11 accuracy times three. Murphy, do you have the blog open? Yeah, the one with all the stuff in it. Does it say how many types of purple doffs are in the Voth doff pack? 
Because I've only seen two or three so far. Uh, I got a ground weapon that is a wide beam pistol that kind of looks like the uh, energy sword from Halo. That's a damage <laughs> times three. That could be useful also. Yeah, I, I might run around with that on one of my characters. No, I'm not seeing anything about the uh, the Voth ones, so... It's got a, um exploit attack that is jab with it. Jab? That's what it says. Huh. Yeah, even these doffs have a feeling of lastminute.com. Mm. Lastminute.org, dude. Sorry. Okay. Dot uk. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. That's fancy. No, the whole logbox thinks of me. So that's, <laughs> so that's your guys feeling right now after opening a few me? Yeah. Yeah. To get the official Trekker meh seal of approval? Meh. Ah, uh, yeah. Makes me want to s sit on a gaming toilet. Uh, but I don't know if it's it generally rubbish or the fact we're just sick of the sight of lockboxes. It's probably both. I think it's both. I think it's both. We don't care for lockboxes anymore. Like, we've seen them and we're just like, yeah, we get why they're here. And blah. Well, I don't know. I've opened up a total of 19 gotten about 120 um, lobby and the best thing I've got out of there so far is probably the dilithium mining claim I got a ton of DOFs and then just those three Voth weapon things but that's about it for this one yeah there's a hell of a lot of DOFs getting given out in this one I must admit yeah especially well if they have less rewards for other things it seems like more mm. doffs you just get then stuck with which of course eh, i think a lot of people have the doffs they want you know what we should do for the next episode of lockbox files is get some new players to the game and see what their feelings are yeah i, I was thinking i don't think we're going to do it for this episode a... just because of our time constraints on mm. scheduling and stuff but definitely try to get opinions of people from with uh even other games and lockboxes and such i know i've talked to people uh, outside of like the MMO genre and stuff like that, about what our lockbox is. <gasps> and outside they, of MMO? I know. You, can you believe there are people outside? There's life out there. I know, right? My tricorder didn't pick it up, but I walked outside, <laughs> survived, and it talked crashes to crashes my, my graphics card. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Open the front door, crashes my life. Uh, well, I think the only thing these are. Uh, Duty officer packs are good for in the lot boxes are to the trash doffs that you can get for the um, starbase projects. Yeah, yeah. We now again need white ones. There you go. So that's that You're is the plus for the lot box. Sorry, not racist. No. No, oh, Hershey. Come on. Yeah, I, so I, want to, I want to get somebody who actually... <laughs> I, I wanted to have a debate where it was me arguing lockboxes are gambling against somebody else. But I, I don't think we're going to have just time to shoot that or whatever. Plus, uh, I have to find who really wants the lockboxes in this game. That's going to be tough. Yeah, well, Star would need new players to pull that off, so... Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah, that's going to be tough. But, uh, you, you know, one thing we should cover, because it did happen recently, and it was in between episodes, was... Uh, they added lobbies to the featured episode missions. Not just the one and mm -hmm. done, but it's like, a, how does it work? I haven't done this, so somebody explain this to me. I've done it, uh, done it. I'm making every day 15 lobby on two accounts, so 30 lobby. Pretty useful. Thank them. So do you get it per episode, or is it per series, or what? Per does day. Per day, per Per day? Account. On all the episodes? No, you have to just... Just one. from one episode. And it's sticking around until December fifteenth or uh, December fifth. Yeah. So it's so, one episode of feature so episode series, or it's all of one them? episode. One just, episode. Oh, just one episode. Okay. Just yeah. One. You yourself just run one per day, and you get fifteen per day per account. So I that's have, about. So are you doing the short featured episodes? Uh, yeah. The. What's it called? Uh, the... It's either going to be Green spin the, wheel. Or spin the Wheel. Yeah, I was going to say it's either the Green uh, one, the third episode, or Spin uh, yeah, the Wheel. Yeah, the second one is called Comfort. But the I, do, I do it off Bajor every day. Of Bajor? Crazy. How's that? The mission Best sucks. mission ever. 
I remember uh, you were a huge fan of that when that came out. You spent all your time there. Uh, I've ran uh, cutting the cord a couple times because they're also at the same time. I think he's oh, dead. Wifey. He's in we trouble. He spent too much money on keys. Watch <laughs> stop play. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I like that they added some Moby into the missions in the in the game finally because I hated the whole mm. time and that was the only way you could get him out of the lockbox. But also and they are now account any... bound, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. They're no longer account bound. I think that was the one thing that also hurt the uh, the Moby currency yeah. was you couldn't trade it. So you'd open boxes on one character and everything would have to go to that one character. I don't know yeah. many people who split it up. Yeah, you, uh, I I tried to a couple times because I wanted to try and get a. Um... A uh, uh, console or something on one of my other characters, like the uh, what is it called, the Tachyon Converted console that does turn rate and uh, um, Tachyon Kinetic Converter. Yeah, that one. I tried yeah. to get on a couple of characters. Well, I actually did on uh, four or five the main ones I used. So yeah, which when yeah. when they made all this uh, account based. And I started pulling all lowly from all characters. Mm. I ended up with like 450, 500. Yeah. And now you can get almost, uh, I think, 500 for free. Doing just the uh, one feature episode per day. So that's pretty awesome too. It's nice and cryptic, but it's also clever. Yeah. Yep. Of course. Because you end up with 500 lobby. Do something, yeah. You end up with 500 lobby. Oh, I only need another 300 lobby for this yeah. shit. Yeah. I'll buy some keys. Yeah, but it's still, it's still a nice gesture. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to go, oh, they're yep. scheming, because of course they want to make uh, some amount of money. And I think that was a good move, because I think a lot of people were uh, burned on the Lobby idea. Because I remember when they first got introduced, a lot of people, including myself, just hated Lobby. And it's a way to get you to do the featured episodes, which you've done a trillion times already as well. Yeah, we always need another reason to do the, the same featured episodes again, instead of new ones. Um. Although, they should have actually added 15 to the new episode as well. Yeah. Because I've got yeah. a feeling that not a lot of people are playing that. They've played it one or two times and then they've left it for the rolls. Yeah, I've done it. I did it once on the Fed. I did it on my Romulan because at the time I thought you had to do it to get into the uh, zone. Other than that, I don't, I, I don't like the replayability value of that. I've said it on Foundry Files. I just don't. I don't care for the way the mission was built other than story. Anyway, we're digressing away from lockboxes. Yeah, Any, I don't think there's anything else about lockboxes here for uh, this episode other than Wee Wee's math. Unless somebody has something that they want to say awesomely about lockboxes. Oh, he's going to ramble on for about 20, 30 minutes 30 about minutes. these ships, so brace yourself, speaking. Yeah. yeah, especially he's the gonna, police. He's going to talk for quite a bit. Emergency power to boredom three. All right, <laughs> we're going to let Wee Wee ramble on about... Uh, ship math about ships that you're probably not flying anyway so uh, here he is yeah bye wee wee see you later <laughs> see ya and welcome to the ship segment of episode three of the lockbox files this time it's the vo lockbox and we have two new ships to present to you and now this segment will be basically covering how good the ships are compared to other ships in the line we've got the voth bastion flight deck cruiser and we've got the voth palisade science vessel so i'll be covering those now the first one we'll go for is the Bastion, the Flight Deck Cruiser. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Flight Deck Cruiser, what it basically is, it's a cruiser with a hangar bear. That's basically what it is. Um, it, it's a similar thing to Escorts with a hangar bear, except this is a cruiser instead. Now, Flight Deck Cruisers only existed on the Klingon side before this. This, this ship presents it to as an option for all three factions. Extremely beneficial to the Romulans, if you ask me, because they have a seemingly lack of carriers on their side. But... Uh, I'll be comparing this Bastion to the Fleet Corsair Flight Deck Cruiser Retrofect because it's basically the only other Flight Deck Cruiser that's fleet level at the moment, and this is only the second one, so it's quite of a, 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 a bit of a, a bit of a stance to, and a bit of a natural, if you ask me. Base hull, 5,000 more than the Fleet Corsair. That's considerably more, and the shear modifier is a point one upwards as well. So, just basic starters. This ship is even is already more survivable than the Fleet Corsair. As a return for that, it's min less maneuverable. Six base turn rate, lower impulse modifier, and a lower inertia rate as well. It's probably a bigger ship as a result. So you have more survivability at the cost of maneuverability. And the, I have to say, the fleet, fleet cost, I don't fly it myself, but I've seen it in action, and, and 
the maneuverability in that side of things can be very handy. So I wouldn't rule out the possibility of saying, well, it's more survivable, I don't need exactly the maneuverability as much on a cruiser. You know, you know you're right, you don't, but it, it still can be handy. I know people who, who hate the galaxy out there, without trying to open that box, will experience that thing as well. So I wouldn't completely rule out the fact that, that just because this is a big ship and it's less maneuverable doesn't mean it doesn't need turn rate. With a carrier, it could be beneficial to have a turn rate like this. And with Lieutenant Commander Science, which is on power with the Corsair, by the way, you can fit a few debuffs like Gravity Well on one than there. So less turn rate is not exactly really as much of an option as you would expect on a normal science ship. But like I said, it's got Lieutenant Commander Science, Commander Engineering, and they both have Lieutenant Tacticals, both the Corsair and the Bastion. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The both slots for Lieutenant and Ensign, the remaining ones, are universal on the Bastion, as opposed to another science and an engineer for the Corsair. So this immediately brings more versatility. So it's more survivable, less maneuverable as a result, and more versatile. Adding to the versatility, you lose a fourth science console for the Corsair and add a third tactical one for the Bastion. So what, what this basically is, it's, it's a 333 layout with a fourth engineering console because it's a cruiser. And it's extremely versatile at the same time. Now, it's you could put a good DPSer in there. It'll be it'll be all right, DPSer. It'll be even better with a tactical officer flying the ship. But with a lieutenant and an instant universal, you, you can easily pull off a decent tactical build. Um, so what I'm saying is, it it can be beneficial for all three professions at the same time. With three science consoles, you can do a few debuffs if you want with a lieutenant commander science, and you can even put a science and a lieutenant and ensign. It's up to you. It depends on what you want to put in there. Or you could go for more survivability with engineers. So, again, it's, it's, it's entirely up to you what you want to put in there. But it, it is capable of all three professions, but the, it, it, as a return for that, it's not as much specialised into science, which seems to be a focus for carries in this game. Now, with that less manoeuvrability comes with a, a standard power level equality to the Corsair. And now, plus five to all is pretty generalised, if I have to say. Normally, with a lockbox ship, you would expect it to be some kind of specialised, like plus ten to weapons, plus ten to shields, plus ten to auxiliary, whatever you want, plus ten to engines. It, it, it depends what the cruiser is, and it depends what its role is. This is a standard cruiser power bonus level, plus five to all. You don't really see that lockbox ships. I would have expected something more specialised on this front. So if you want to, if you want to look at the power levels, you're considering well, which has better power levels. This, but the Bastion isn't exactly the most shining point. This isn't exactly one of the most shining points of the Bastion. I'll put it that way. And of course, they got the reactive shield amplifier on top of the one hangar bear. So comparing the Bastion to the Corsair, I consider it about 80% better than the Corsair. The remaining 20% being the maneuverability, which, if if you ask me, counts a bit more than you may think, actually, but that's just my personal opinion, it depends on what you want to go for. Now, this ship is generally more survivable, more versatile, and it has the extra little console, but in return it loses maneuverability. So there's quite a few ups compared to the downer, and it depends what you classify as a good enough return and trade-off. So which is more significant? Is maneuverability significant? Survivability? Is the carrier part of it significant? It's up to you. I look forward to seeing some of the builds out there. Now the second ship, the Palisade Science Vessel, is the Lobisaw ship. Now, <laughs> this is one of the more interesting science vessels I've seen. The base hull for start is very strong. It's only outclassed, I think, by the Fleet Nebula, with 33,000 on the Palisade. So already it's escort territory. You don't really see that. Science ships tend to be below escort territory, simply because they have a, a high shield modifier. Now, the Palisade has an equivalent shield modifier to the Temporal ship, 1.45. That's very, very strong. Equivalent to the highest base shield modifier you can have on any ship in the game. So you've already got a pretty strong base hull for a science vessel, relatively speaking. And the highest sh base shield modifier you can have on any ship in the game, equivalent to the Temporal ship. So, again, base stats, this is already stronger than most of the other science ships there is, including the Vesta and the temporal ship because it has more hull. Uh, it has double the crew 
of the temporal ship. And the boss site is where it gets interesting. <laughs> the commander science, as usual, it's a science character. You would expect that to be natural. But the lieutenant commanders, plural, is where it gets is is probably the highlight of the ship, if I do say so. This has a strong specialization into science and survivability and has the buff seating of a carrier. It's got a commander science, lieutenant commander engineering, so it's survivable, a lieutenant commander universal and a lieutenant universal. So again, this is another ship like the Bastion with extremely good versatile options. A lieutenant commander is better than an ensign. I would have rather had the two lieutenant commanders than an extra ensign. And this is exactly what you happen on the ship. You can fit more boss slots in lieutenant commanders. You don't really have that many options as an ensign compared to the lieutenant commander. In fact, you, as a matter of fact, you can pretty much have every power in the game at some kind of rank variation as a lieutenant commander. It's one of the best boss seats in the game. And having two of them is a great idea. So you have three lieutenant commander options on the ship, with one of them being on the commander. So, again, this is very, very versatile. One of the more versatile science ships in the game. If I have, I have to say, it's probably more versatile than the Vesta. And just as versatile as the Temporal ships. So, this is... <laughs> like I said, this is a very, very powerful science vessel already. Not to mention the five science consoles, with a third engineering bias. So what you're looking at is an extremely versatile ship with strong survivability and um, a huge specialization into console sciences. Five of them. It's the first science, uh, five console science ship that Klingons can get hands of, so they'll be happy. Uh, for feds, it won't be as important because they already have the Vesta line and the, the wells. The Klingons have the Korath, which is decent, but the Palisade is a good option as well. In fact, I would probably, I'd probably keep the Palisade as a as an alternative, a good healer or or a tank maybe even. As that's just my draw on this in the ship. It, I I just find it more. <laughs> I don't want to say it's specialized because it sounds too generalized, but I want to say for myself, I would rather put a healer or a tank in there simply because of the lower turn rate, which is eleven by the way, four less than the Korath, and one or two points lower than the Vesta. So, it's not exactly the most turnable ship in the world. It's got the equivalent turn rate of a Deep Space Science vessel and Gorn Varanus. Um, none of those ships I personally think are very good at all, but that's just my opinion. The Palisade, it's it's better than the Orb Weave in terms of turn rate. The Orb Weave is 9, this is 11, so it's got a high base turn rate, more versatility, more survivability, and more specialization than it, plus the standard pl uh, plus 15 auxiliary power as well. So it's, <laughs> I'd, I'd say this is uh, this is considerably better than the Orb Weaver, I'd, I'd have to say. As a temporal, uh, compared to the Temporal Ship and the, the Vesta, it depends what you would go for. The Temporal Ship's outstanding quality is simply the turn rate. It, that's probably the best science vessel you can have for putting things like Gravity Well and Titan Drift on. And the Vesta is one of the strongest science vessels in the game, simply because of the amount of abilities you can have. And the Palisade is strong overall in many, many ways. You could put quite a few builds in here. I wouldn't expect a tactical to be in the ship, because it's only got two tactical consoles, and of course, with it being a science ship, it's got a 3-3 three, three weapons layout. So I wouldn't expect too many tacticals to be in this, if you want to be at all. The tacticals I'd probably reserve for the Vesta, if you want to go on a science vessel at all. So I, I, would, I would say the specialization of this would be more survivability and the science orientation, quite quite considerably on both sides compared to a tactical and compared to the temporal ships and the Vesta line. You have a little bit less maneuverability than the Vesta and considerably less than the temporal ships and of course you've got the Aceleron Field Generator which is a handy tool to combine with the Aceleron Assimilator if you're a Klingon or a Klingon aligned Romulan. So if I have to say one thing overall, the Palisade is one of the best science ships I've seen. It's got the buff stops of a carrier, the survivability of I don't know what, and incredible specialization with some great abilities on the side you can put in and builds. So the Vault Palisade, definitely a good science ship. The Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser, I'd say it's a decent flight deck cruiser. Although there is only the one fleet call the fleet flight deck cruiser right now besides that, and of course that's the fleet call set. So 
I'd say overall both of these ships range from mediocre to really, really good. This is one of the better lockbox variants I've seen in lock, lock, in lockbox uh, t ship terms. So I definitely recommend the Palisade to any science captain out there, particularly if you're a Klingon or Romulan because they don't really have that many options over there, so I'd probably recommend it more for them. And the Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser, which I'd probably recommend more for a Romulan. Or maybe a Klingon. Klingon already have one, but the Romulans don't really have a huge selection of carriers, do they? So you may want to consider putting it on there, but singularities, warp cores, what have you. It's up to you, like I said. All of this is subject to how you view the ship. But based stat-wise, these two ships are very powerful compared to their nearest counterparts. The Bastion to the Fleet Corsair, the Palisade to the Temple ships and the Vesta line. So, that's my gist on these ships. So, like I said, it's up to you how you how you view the ships, but if I have to say something, the two ships will definitely be formidable. All right, uh, this is the wrap-up of Lockbox Files. Uh, before I say goodbye to everybody, though, uh, Thorley did not open his imaginary lockbox yet, so here's the key, Thorley. Open up your lockbox. What you get? Yeah, for you. I got my keys right here. Okay, open it up. Let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, hey, look what I got. I got four lobby, and what's this? <gasps> Is it yeah. a duty officer It's pay? a stick on trail spot kit. Wow. What? Whoa. That's what I no, want in my lockbox. Lock that is so not Set fair. It Can we Murphy. trade? Uh, 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 I would have figured those keys would have unlocked another box. Well, if you stick it in both, you're usually good. <laughs> for the next lockbox, I want onesies for our captains. Oh, onesies. We should make a lockbox prediction before we go. What do we think the next lockbox is going to be? It's gonna be whatever faction is the enemy of the next season. That's for sure. So who's it gonna be? It, it's it's either Cardassians or Delta Quadrant. So well, that's it. Yeah, with Romulus, they did one when Romulus released, and then one in between. Uh, the Rom or Tal Shiar and yeah, season they eight. So mm -hmm. it looks like they might be doing two a release or two a season. You know, uh, I'd like a species eight four seven two lockbox, please. Oh no. yeah, buy I, think, ship. I yeah. think they're going to make a new race because they've shown a pattern of they have to have a new race with every season, and it's going to be Zindi. I'm going to go with Zindi Lockbox. Oh, Good luck with that. Ah, Suliban. Meh. I don't think they have yeah. enough there for Suliban. I think Zindi, they could make like aquatic ship, I Zindi want an ship, aquatic ship, insectoid, all that. I want to be an aquatic character, and I can uh, just <laughs> no uh, shit. walk around or be pushed around Earth space dock in a giant fish tank. <laughs> how are you gonna How are you gonna pet your triple though? Uh, he's gonna have to jump in the tank with me and get wet. So I drown my triple accolade. Yes, that's terrible, man. You're, are you supporting drowning a triple on this show? Never. I would never do such a thing. Never. Uh, we could drown. I a would cat. bake one. You bake one, yeah. Baking's fine, just don't drown them. You can get a lot of trouble for that. Anyway, though, that's this episode of Lockbox Files, Lockbox Files Episode 3. Uh, check us out over at JupiterForce.org for uh, all the people who make this show and many other uh, cool things that you can watch, listen, or read. What else and, do they uh, do? I don't know, they do a whole bunch of stuff. Go to JupiterForce.org, there'll be a bunch of stuff at the end. Apply, register to the forums. Yeah, if you're looking for See a fee, you can apply there. Uh, I, I think that's it. So, uh, wave goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. See ya. Later. Yep, bye. bye. I'm waving, not necessarily my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's dirty. That's not a hand. <laughs> what is it? Chutter. It's a lightsaber. Yeah. Oh, sorry, wrong game. Oh, oh, oh. sorry. Tour lockbox. Oh, they got lockbox. Yeah.